what I'm thinking too, even with these uh, these ends here. Yeah. I want them to be like faint. Welcome to the 11th annual International Chetwin Chainsaw Championship happening right here in Chetwin. We got the world's best 12 carvers taking action here today. Most of them have been here before, some of them haven't. Myself and Chris Gleckler will be with you every day of the event, giving you the updates. Uh, today started at 8 a.m. with the horn being sounded, giving signal to the carvers to jet their chainsaws running and take action. One of the main topics already of the event is the fact that it's even taken place. Some main sponsors from last year dropped, giving the organizers a difficult task of getting this event to even get started this year. I spoke with Tanya Richter, one of the main event organizers, on the difficulties faced to get this event going and what this event means to Chetwin. Um, with the sponsorship loss this year, I'm really relieved this year that this is actually happening because we had the community and the citizens of the community pull through. and. Uh, I think it was mid-February, we only had $10,000 that came in and within two weeks of going public that we were in trouble of this event and not going, we pulled in almost $30,000. This event in Chatwin is immensely important. I can't even explain how important it is. The tourism that comes to town just for this event is absolutely ridiculous. I know this week alone at the Chamber office we had carvers carving since last Friday and the tourists that were stopping in, they actually are, had plans to stay. So. We have hotels that are filling up because of it. We have people buying groceries here, eating in our restaurants, and it actually puts Chetwin on the map. Chetwin is, I would say, one of the best competitions out there. You're able to enter as a carver, you know. For me, there's no doubt that there's uh, just a few competitions worldwide, actually, which are on, on, on that high of a level, you know. And Chetwin puts in so much and, and, and really comes up with the most beautiful wood you're able to get and, and you know and, and all the organization is, is just it's one of the best shows. Action began at 8 a.m. this morning but the festivities actually began last night with the Carver's reception dinner. At the dinner the Carver's were given their selections of logs through random draws. I spoke with some of them today to see if they were happy with their log selection or if they needed to adjust anything. Uh, last night the uh, log draw was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I uh, landed a great big one. I'm pretty happy. I'm stoked. It was uh, solid all the way through. Um, unfortunately, I'm cutting it all up into pieces and uh, adding it together like a couple of the other carvers do. Uh, so, uh, but I'm sure at the end of it, it's going to come out pretty nice. Well, I came here with a plan which I could fit in pretty much any size and shape of log I got. So. If I would have got a big one, it would have been a little bigger. If I got a small one, so it'll be pretty close to life size, a little smaller, but I'll fit my plan in, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Day one of Chetwin's International Chainsaw Carving Championship is winding down. A lot of the sculptures here are already taking a recognizable form as to what they will look like in the future. We're now going to look at each carver's sculpture to see where it's at at the end of the day here.